In this video, I want to go over our statistical uh, quality control procedure. This is in uh, week 14. And the illustration that I'm going to be using uh, will be the one in week 14. And that is uh, the quality control exercise. So I'm going to take that, that, uh, that illustration and I want to take you through uh, QM for Windows on how we establish upper and lower control limits. Think of uh, these control charts whereby we will establish an upper and lower parameter similar to what you did back in your stat days when you had to go ahead and you had to establish control limits uh, for we'll say um, the lower control limit and upper control limit uh, in under a continuous probability distribution i.e. normal curve. So think of it from that perspective. Also think of it as you, uh, a quality controlled individual, monitoring a production run, say, throughout the day or whatever it may be. And you would go in during the production run and you would take a sample. And you would want to measure um, how many uh, from the sample that you've taken are defective. So therefore, uh, from that sample, uh, from taking this uh, the sample and taking and determining the number of defectives, you would want to establish uh, these so-called control limits, i.e. an upper limit or a lower limit. Think of it in terms of boundaries. And, and really what you want to see is that once you've established these boundaries, these limits, uh, if they say number of defects fall within the lower limit, lower control limit, and the upper control limit, you would say it's okay. It's fine. If it falls, we'll say, above the upper control limit, then you're thinking may have a problem. I'm getting really too many defectives. Uh, I probably would want to go back and take uh, another sample and recalculate to see what is going on. However, that's really the, the purpose here. You're a quality controlled individual and you want to make sure that the standard is being set and being performed. Uh, that's why you're doing what you're doing. So once again, we're as you can see, we're in QN for Windows. We're going to come over here. We're going to look at the modular and we're going to come down here to quality control and file and we're going to establish a new and you can see 4 is P charts, 5 is X bar charts, and C is C charts. From our illustration uh, in week 14, using that example, we're going to use P charts. P charts is a percent, uh, percentage of defects. So P is percentage. C, on the other hand, would be the actual count. C would be the count of actual defects. And X bar is whereby we would be utilizing to come up with the mean. We're going to use P charts, so we'll just highlight and double click P charts. And it says number of samples. Well, the number of samples um, is 10, right? We have 10 samples, like we're taking 10 samples throughout the day. And we'll say OK. And then we'd come over here, and you can see 3 sigma corresponds to 99.73% of the area. Well, I believe the problem, not so much the problem, but the example is two sigmas. So let's just change it to two sigmas. And you can see when we're using two sigmas, we're talking about 95.45%. So the areas or those levels, uh, lower and upper, will be taken into account 95.45% of that area. Over here, it's the sample size, 100 which was stated in that example from week 14. And then we just have to go ahead and uh, fill in the number of defects for each sample. Six. Hopefully, um, I'll get these in correctly. just go back and make sure 967 I think everything is correct so therefore we come up here and we see solve 
So what QM does, it will give you the total number of defects we have, 52. Uh, the total unit sampled will be 1,000 because once again we had 10 samples and each sample had a sample size of 100 and you can see we have an upper control limit of 0 0.0964 our center line our mean is 0 0.052 and our lower control limit is 0 0.076 well if we would go over here and observe the fraction defective or the percentage you can see that comparing the defective as a percentage to the upper control limit, lower control limit, you can see we are okay. We The process is working. To better illustrate that, uh, you can just click on for charts and you can see uh, the upper control, lower control, and you can see that we are within the upper and lower. Uh, so really, one would conclude as a quality controlled individual that yes, the process is in control. Uh, we don't have a problem here going on. So go back, uh, do, the, uh, do the questions uh, one, two, and three. And I think this will help you out in regard to doing the problem that will be assigned for uh, December the 2nd in your text.